Welcome back on Dynamod. Today I want to propose you a video about uh, the conversion of the groups of the setbox dominion that uh, I left unused. I decided to convert them in goals. And to use this, uh, I cut off the sprue of the groups from the set itself. And then I started to create two different ways to realize the goals themselves. I decided to use the groups because if I was to compare the groups as size to the old goals that I had, they were quite similar, so I thought that uh, it was not so problematic uh, about. The first method is about taking the heads of the goals that I have as leftover for my set of clipped goals and use them as the main heads about the models. So instead of using their own heads, to use the heads of the goals themselves. There was anyway a little gap uh, combining the gold heads and the growth body. So I decided to use a bit of green stuff to wrap around the hole and then modeling so that it was perfect filled and it was a sort of continuity and not some discrepancy that it was not so great. And here we can see the models once painted, only the ones that I made the conversion about the head using the gold head. So I'm quite glad about this because they represent literally what are the Bretonian parts. So I like quite a lot and I think that they are really perfect to make the sort of cold compact ones. And the champion I like because I associate it with Coron von Kasten because it was quite similar and I load such conversion. The second method is to take one of the original heads of the clothes, one of those without the helmets, and to modify it. Because if you go to compare this to a cool head, we can find that there is something quite intriguing, because we should change to make them more, I can say, human-like, or wool-like, as you want, to change a bit the positioning of the nose in the upper part, where it attached to the front, we had to change the ears because if we change these things, we are quite close to what it's about the, I can say, human goal heads. About the mouth, because there are the fangs and so on, I don't think that there is some problem because if you think about it, it's almost the same about the ghosts. They have quite overgrowth and so on so it's not quite a problem and uh, it's quite fair as an expression so it's quite similar you have maybe problems to associate to humans but goals are really quite close so the first thing that i do is to modify the nose so i use a cutter and a fine to be able to create that shape that uh, i was searching for and uh, i prepare so that uh, it uh, can be quite similar to the nose with the goal and so I start to create the ears for the growths. Here you can eventually decide the material to use. I use the green stuff, but you can use milliput or other things as you prefer. It's not a problem. So here you have to decide how to proceed. You can cut off the ears of the growths and then create them on the place, modify the ears that are yet on the growths. But remember that you have to create a sort of shells because if you go to see about the shell of the ears of the human are a sort of shells but a bit flatter so you have to pay a little attention about such things so not worry about change continue change the utensil that you need to scoop because you need to create something that it's also the inside and so on so it's a bit of effort side but it's worth about doing this and remember that you have to do symmetrical ones so right one and left ear too so try to be about uh, symmetrical about such things so here you have to decide how to proceed or to create separately the ears and then go to glue them on the model itself or to go simply to create directly on the model itself it's up to you decide which type of uh, things you want to realize because uh, it's uh, quite uh, individual as things moreover if you had to do such things on repetitional work uh, it becomes uh, a bit problematic but not so much anyway it requires uh, some type of attention because there are small parts that are anyway quite recognizable eventually you can think also about using a referral here so to create the ear itself 
aside and then put it on the model but it's up to you decide how you want to proceed because it's something that it's uh, how you are more comfortable to create so pay attention about such details because they can be a bit of efforts but quite valuable at the end the result and so here the effects of my working on the nose the heads and obviously a bit of the neck like I done with the gold head because I had to combine and not have gaps between the head and the neck and I quite like I think that they are really quite worth eventually you can pay a bit of attention about the eyebrows that you can change you can modify other things the chin and so on it's that you decide how much you can improve or so on of its worth because eventually as you've seen you can make it directly with the gold heads but i think that uh, it can be quite a good exercise about sculpting because i'm not so good at it and um, it's a nice way to improve your handball eventually and here the painted models here i admit that if i compare them to the gold heads once they seem a bit less ghoulish but at the same time i like such effort because they seem a bit more human like a previous stadium of ghoulishing than the one with the head of goose so i quite like the efforts because they can see the different stadiums to fall in the on that side so quite nice at the end around the years has been released by the research group some models related about the goose and I have some of them to which I added the ones that are in this video. So the first one, the oldest one that I own, it's the white metal one that uh, I never liked too much, but um, it's something that uh, it was uh, a classical, if you want to talk about this. Technically, there are also other two type of goods uh, available at those times, but I don't own them. The first one, it was related about the vampire army book that uh, it was for the fifth edition of Warhammer Fantasy 5th edition but uh, I found about them only when I found much much later about such army book that I like I love and uh, I think that in the future I'll bring a review about it and the other ones are the one that I found in the undead collector guide that uh, also this one I bring you later it's making you see the ones that were available for Mordim and both of them I repeat I don't have still I like to remember because I think that they could be quite intriguing to know about such ones then we had the one that it's a sort of Quasimodo version and quite decrepit one that it was curved with the bones that was a bit modified and exposed and so on pasted on the skin that it was not so bad but anyway have to remember about it then we had the one about the green watch that it was quite different but uh, quite nice because it has different type of uh, ones about that uh, i find it quite nice and uh, it was really a good way to see the new type of goods and then the ones that i made in this video that are the one where i changed the head that i think it's the most suited because are a combination of the quasimodo part and also the new part because they had the body of the groots and the head of the goose, the classical ones that are the Quasimodo, so the ones that are actual when I'm creating the video related. And another one that has been brought, it's the one that I created modifying the groots that had the size, so creating and modifying the nose and the ears themselves. So I think that um, each one can be thought uh, in such way because you can modify the models uh, and in such way you can really personalize because the ghosts as are in the free shooter course uh, are technically the formed humans or humans that have decayed in some way and so on and they still remember something about the sort of military and so on and uh, they have owners technically because uh, the mocking it's the bretonia part uh, about uh, and science that are in the models of the free shooter course so it's quite nice to see some armor of them and so on and so i think that it's quite intriguing to see such combination as the growth becoming the goose so i think that it could be quite intriguing if you think about it so from dino mode it's everything i invite you to put a like on this video to subscribe to the channel to ring the bell and to comment this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos I hope to see you again.
to the next time.